Yeah, Lauren, the community support is evident for the son of the founder of Amedios. And when you walk inside, you'll understand why. The pictures on the wall tell the story behind who the founder was and all the things he loved. He just kept asking me to come here. And eventually I just did. Server Shannon Hayes has worked at the Italian restaurant for seven years. Telling me Dick DeAngelis started Amedios okay. more than 60 years okay, ago well. on the campus of NC State. He was a football player there. And when you look around, there's no question who they're rooting for. That's right. Yeah, it's, it's a mecca. Uh, the unofficial museum of NC State athletics, that's for sure. That's Dave Parker. He married Dick's daughter, Jill, 35 years ago and has been around long enough to see how the DeAngelis family has been there for the community. And now, he says, the community is coming to the rescue of the family. Last Friday, his brother-in-law, John, was complaining about being in pain. The 54-year-old rushed to the hospital where doctors performed tests and diagnosed him with stage four colorectal cancer. Well, he was very concerned, you know, obviously. I mean, the medical expenses are going to be astronomical. Data shows colorectal cancer has jumped from being the fourth leading cause of cancer death in men and women under 50 to first in men and second in women. And here in North Carolina, only 64% of people 45 and older are up to date on their screenings. John's diagnosis is a big blow for the family, who sprung into action, launching this GoFundMe that's already raised 32,000 of his $50,000 goal in just days. The love um, the community has for the DeAngelis's and uh, you know they had for Emilio and the children, um, you know, it speaks volumes how much they care about the family. A true testament to the way this family has loved and served this community for six decades. It's very, very heartwarming for for me and my wife and John's other brother and sister and, and especially John. Um, he's just very, very, very grateful. We all are. And the family is hoping to reach its goal of $50,000 and beyond. As for John, he's still in the hospital right now. Family members tell me he's waiting for test results.